Is your choice of realtor going to help you or hinder you in trying to buy or sell a home? Hi everyone, Garrett Verbakel here from Century 21 Heritage House in Kitchener. I'm on the road today running some digital workshops at our Woodstock office, helping everyone improve their technological knowledge and thought this was a great topic to cover today. With all of the advances available in many areas of life, it had come as no surprise that there have been a number of leaps forward in the tools available to us as realtors as well. First and foremost would be the MLS. Did you know that the MLS was originally just a binder on an office's front desk that would be updated daily by the admin staff? To see what was available, you'd actually have to head down to the office and see what they had to show you that day. Now we can do it all online, in our underwear, or on the toilet even. I'm sure not all realtors at the time liked this change to a digital MLS. Some might say it lost the face-to-face -face aspect of real estate. Some just out of principle, and certainly some out of fear because they couldn't use a computer and were going to be left behind. Since then, there are a number of other great changes like cell phones and email and text messaging. Simple enough for some, yet scary to others. But you have to ask yourself when you're selecting an agent to work with, are they going to help or hinder me with their practices? I'd be the first to admit that not every bright and shiny new real estate toy works or is better than an older version or style. And you can have an agent using none of the new toys and doing just fine or some using all of them and doing awful. Though the opposite could be true in both cases too. But in a market where time is of the essence and deals can come together and fall apart very quickly, there are certain tools that should just be par for the course. One of the biggest is digital signatures. The idea here is that the documents we are creating for you to sign are signed on a computer phone or tablet before being sent to the other agent. It's cleaner because I'm not printing, signing, scanning, sending them to someone else to print, sign, scan 10 times over before we're done, before it's too hard to read. And it's faster because I can send a document out from my couch in Cambridge to a client in Waterloo and another in Toronto and have it all signed and back to me inside 15 minutes. It would have taken me far longer if we wanted wet ink signatures. I can even be on another appointment and send forms out for signatures. This is a job that might have previously required an hour or more for travel and filling out the paperwork and it's done in no time. And there are protections in place to prevent the abuse of this system as well. In a back to back, uh, back and forth negotiation as of late when terms were suggested, I was able to make changes to the offer, have it out for signature and back to me inside 15 minutes. I then had to wait 12 hours for the agent to go attend their client to go get it signed and get a response. And if they suggest they might be competing offers coming, then we're being expedient. We're not the ones holding up the whole process to get this deal signed. Some agents will say they still like the belly to belly interaction, which are totally still able to have, but now you're signing on an iPad instead of on paper. This is just one of the recent developments. Our board also has access to digital appointment scheduling apps on our phone. We can book showings 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We don't have to rely on the listing brokerage having admin staff on duty at the time to take calls and schedule the appointments for us. And when I'm listing a property for sale, the requests get sent directly to my client because it's up to them anyway if they can accommodate a showing. So why not put the power literally in their hands? And I'm a night owl, so sometimes I'm scheduling showings at 1 a.m. and no office is open that late, but the app is. And funny enough, one of the biggest brokerages in the region doesn't use this service at all, putting unnecessary hurdles in the way of selling your house. And most recently, electronic lockboxes are here too. They're mandatory on the Kitchener Waterloo board and Guelph, Woodstock, Cambridge, Brantford and Simcoe already have or will soon have access to them. And this added level of security allows me more control over who's able to gain access to your property. And I'm alerted every single time the box is open to make sure the right people are going in. Some advances aren't great, and some are just there so someone can claim that they're advancing, but some should be an integral part of your business. And if your realtor isn't using some of these, you should just ask them why. People are surprised when they hear how fast homes can sell these days, and a large part of it is due to this technology. We don't have to wait three days for the MLS sheets to make it to the office, then have showings, then wait two days to get documents signed, then there's a counter offer and that might take two days. Some deals can come together in an evening. Is your realtor equipped to make that happen? Or is their reluctance to join the 21st century going to harm you? Our company name certainly isn't arbitrary. And that's it for this week. 
It was a long one, but it's an important aspect of an agent's toolbox. So much so that I'm here coaching and training the other agents at my office because I think it's that important to keep us ahead of the game. I'd be happy to explain more of these top more on these topics if anyone should have some questions. So please let me know if that's the case. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to your friends. And until next time, I'm Gary Rubakel with Century 21 Heritage House here in Kitchener.